welcome yet again to another tutorial by African Surveys Connect. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to connect Postgre SQL to our ArcGIS Pro. So, the first thing that you need to do is you need to have two components installed on your machine. So, the first component that you need to have is going to be your ArcGIS Pro, which is already installed and licensed, as you can see. And once you have that installed, you also need to have post uh, PostgreSQL. SQL so you can basically download this on the internet by simply going on Google you can simply go on Google and then you just type in uh, post here as SQL and then you uh, it takes you to the post SQL page so that you'll be able to download this application which is called PG admin so the version that you uh, that you're going to download depends on the version which is currently available so what you basically need to do is you need to go on the download page and then you download uh, the specific version according to your operating system and your machine capability so that's all for now in terms of downloading so what you need to do now once you have downloaded these two softwares and once you have your ArcGIS Pro licensed you then need to open up your ArcGIS Pro uh, and then once you once that's open there are two methods that you can use to connect to a database so i'm gonna mention the first method whereby we're gonna navigate to this top ribbon and then we're gonna click on, on insert and then we go over on connections and then we hover over on database and then we go on new database connection so it uh, brings this pop-up window where we can get to select Type of database that we need to that we need to connect to. So in this case, we're gonna be connecting to a PostgreSQL database. So that's the first step that you need to take. Uh, if you prefer using that the second option, you can navigate over to your catalog. You navigate over to your catalog. So your catalog can be found uh, at the right section of your like of your screen. But in the event that you do not have this screen available, let me just do quick turn around on how you can enable this window so in some instances uh, it, it might like your ArcGIS Pro software might actually appear like this so if it appears like this that there is no uh, right panel you just basically need to go on view and see on navigator on view then you just need to go on catalog pen and then the catalog pen is gonna pop up on your screen and then you can also pin this such that you don't lose it anymore and then when you want to activate it you just bring it up like that okay so let's just act let's just connect our post care sql database so once you have done that you simply need to right click on databases and then you go over to new database connection and then you select the type of database that you want to connect to so okay, i'm going to connect to my post care sql so once you've reached this stage you need to make sure that the database actually exists so you can either connect to a local database and or you can either connect to uh, a database which is hosted on an, on an external server so for this tutorial we're going to be using uh, a database which is hosted on our local machine so once you have installed your pg uh pg admin depending whether it's, uh, whether it's pg admin 3 2 uh, for or maybe any later version that might come up soon after this video you get basically need to have this on your machine so what you need to do is you need to click on this icon in order for you to start your PostgreSQL server and then once the server is started it's supposed to appear like this so it's basically going to ask you some signing information and then you sign into your server depending on the master password that you created when you set when you were when you initially setting this database up so as you can see this is actually hosted on my local machine as you can see with the with the ip address which is 127.0.0.1 uh, it basically means it's a uh, it's a local address so uh, within this database i've created some additional databases which i've pre-populated in this which also contains some data so each database has its own password and uh, 
and its own uh, like that's name but we're gonna be explaining that in a later video so right now what we need to do is we need to connect to any one of these databases or actually get it to create a new database so uh, I'm gonna teach you how to create a new database in PostgreSQL but for the purpose of this video we're gonna be connecting to a database which already exists so in this case I'm gonna be connecting to this database so watch me as I do it so I'm just gonna remove that window and then we go back to our ArcGIS Pro and then we make sure that we've selected PostgreSQL and then for the instance now we need to remove the defects which was there so since we're connecting this to a local machine you can simply type local host so that uh, so that uh, our our database access window knows that we want to connect to a database which is stored on our machine and then once you've done that you then choose the authentication type so in this case our database already has an authentication but if you had uh, saved these keys in your operating system, you could simply type in operating system authentication. But unfortunately, we did not go through this step, so we need to manually enter in our database username and our password. So most uh, PostgreSQL database usernames have the default part, our uh, username, which is PostgreS, and then the password that you created when you created that uh, when you are setting up. Post your skill database server. So once you've entered your username and your password, you then click anywhere and then you go on database and then it starts to connect. So as you can see, it's already uh, showing me the databases which are connected uh, to this uh, post your skill server. So remember the database that we want to connect. So I'm just going to go back to the browser so that you see it. This database is using Esri ArcGIS. So I'm just going to connect to that database and then uh, we just gonna uh, uh, yeah view the database so this is the database as we have GIS so I'm not gonna open it but I'm just gonna connect it for the purpose of this tutorial then we go back and then we click on as we have GIS and then we click on OK and then it begins to connect so once it's connected successfully the database is gonna come up here as local host SDE. So the convention saving this is usually the server name dot uh, SDE. But you could also rename this. So let me just rename this to Esri ArcGIS uh, tutorial. And then I will resave that database name so that I'll be able to identify the next time I need to connect that database. So even if I expand on this database. I can be able to see that uh, within the database there was some data which I had pre-populated so I would just basically add this data to the map uh, so that I could be able to see my data so let's just wait while that's adding onto the map and then I can just go and zoom to layer to see my data and just turn off this Africa layer and turn off this hue shade and topographical map so this is my data which was contained within my PostgreSQL SQL server. So I can just also go back. Oops, let me just also go back to that, and then I go on schema, and then I just open the PostgreSQL, and then I go on tables. So this is my database table which I have basically added. As it, as you can see, the name is. Postgres dot query stands and this is the database query stands. So these are this is the data which is contained within the database. So let's just have a glimpse of that data. So yep, this is the data, and we have successfully added this data to our ArcGIS Pro. It also has the same attribute as if we're importing a shape file or as if we're importing a file geo database so you can see the same attributes that you are already seeing here are also the same attributes that we are able to see within the server so basically you, you uh, choose to store your data in the server so that multiple users can be able to access and edit this data 
as you grow so thank you folks for watching i hope uh, to see you in the next video where we're going to be learning on how to save our data in back into our post rescue database thank you guys for watching please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel so that we keep uh, making these videos see you guys in the next session